unfortunately we cannot go to Spain, Iberia or Greece or any part of southern Europe to enjoy the winter we have to be here there's no rain in winter time yeah everything is dry and I it's like really it. dark because yeah in Finland when you go to work it's dark when you come back from the work it's still dark so we are living in the 24-7 darkness because my workplace is this uh, not a basement but really a large hall where is no windows so I don't see any sunlight in six months so the winter is coming yes crisp mornings really crisp mornings when you woke up everything around is like frozen and this uh, leaves are making this hell of a noise when you walk because they are totally frozen it's it's fun part of the year because it's yeah. beautiful and it's not raining and still it's really yeah dry so we love it this time of year this time we are actually parked on this uh, Sarvikallio which is the basically a outdoor route in a rural Helsinki area I and the sun is setting, people are leaving, so yeah. once again we can have the parking lot to ourselves and have a good sleep here. Yeah. We uh, like to these places where the road is not very next, so there's no traffic noise. Yeah, because there's just a small road there going, there's a lake, large lake over that side and over that side it's just a country road yeah. and fields. So after the sun sets we are here all alone and it's really cozy and really silent lucky us yeah one thing that people actually have commented to our videos and also in the van life community there is uh, some people saying that youtubers and instagrammers are doing this toxic positivity that we don't show any negative things or we just show the positive things and we embrace the van life that it's too positive image on it. We are showing it that we are parking in the park lot. It's really cold but still we love it because it's beautiful, silent and everything that we want this life to be. If you think about YouTube usually the chaos and the negative things those are things that you can get also the best views for yeah, your yeah because trauma sells <laughs> if you are bad thing happening to you it's all about in your mind how you resolve it if you are negative people then you are resolving things by negativity and if you are positive then you try to find some positive things or just think that okay shit happens whatever Move on. Move on. But I don't think we are over positive or over negative. I think we are pretty straightforward for you guys. But really, yeah. should we like film that we are on the phones on the van when it's uh, dark and we cannot go out or when it's raining we don't do anything? Yeah, we don't film those because there's nothing happening. And GoPro has such a bad lightning option so you cannot really film and shoot in the darkness i think somebody would say this is horrible way of van life living in finland this time of year when it's totally cold we have to use somewhat what more lpg and somewhat more firewood but that's it yeah and there's less people that's a good thing yeah even if you go like a uh, swimming places which are we don't go swimming places during the summertime because there's so much people. But during this time of year, swimming places, you can go straight there. There's no one and you can get nice lakeside views in Finland or any other countries. Our van is not winterproof, so we have to do some extra things to get the comfort to our van back. That is same as in the summertime. Yeah, let's go. Pulla is not part of it. Pulla is just enjoying 
Yes. We have been off grid for five months and we just collected our shore power connector because on the camping ground we have unlimited electricity and we can actually heat with the electricity. So getting that cord is one thing. In our van there is an underfreeze valve that when it's the temperatures go too low on our water system it basically drains all the water out. And we have decided that after two times that valve has opened and drained our water we will go to the camping ground uh, bucket with the tap. So we are draining all the water from the van. That's why we need this bucket. And we are using that only for our water usage. Basically every day we have to fill it. That is a dehumidifier which we use. It's I think 300 watts. And yeah, when we are stationary longer periods of time, we don't open the doors or windows that often during the winter time because it's minus 20 or something. It's not a convenient way. So the humidifier fixed that. So we don't have to get that much ventilation and we can use that one and it will collect this bucket full of water in approximately 14 to 16 hours. Maybe one and a half liters. So that much condensation is building up in a van during the winter time. Lots of uh, bricks that we're gonna burn in the wood stove. And this thing. We made it ourselves. Space sheet. Yes. Look I, how thick. This vanu. It's a thermal fabric. And people always ask where we buy that thing, but we cannot really remember. It was some kind of caravan store online. But what we are gonna do is putting it here. To our back doors and it will be blocking all the cold air coming to our bed because yeah it's awful to be in on your bed when it's really cold that's why why we need this it gives us comfort and also saves on an lpg bill approximately 200 watts of power that we need less That's it. Yes, let's start some duct taping. Yeah, we are not installing, we are just duct taping because it's just for the winter time. Yox, your windows will be shut for next month. Yeah, Doc doesn't see outside when we get this on because all the windows on that side are blocked. Oh. But they, all they do is park to other dogs when they see from it from the window. So. It will be calming for the dogs. Yes. It's kind of long and ugly, but it will protect us from the coldness. And we have old duct tape Ola. here. Ola. Ola is being a naughty boy. Okay. Hey. So we are going to just duct tape this to our big door. But at first I'm going to block the sun plants. Ugly. But it's working. And from here we have to always secure all, also this area because it's just beneath our bed and we don't want to, this area to be super cold. So this goes down and we tuck it here on the sides. Yes, now we can still get to our garage quite easily and the garage is insulated from the 
coldness from outside. This big, thick thermal fabric we are going to use to cover this cold cockpit area, and we are going to just lay it here. And we drive this car every day, so we put this night time and take this out morning time. This is ugly, but this keeps us very warm. We don't use that much LPG or firewood. And also this is not seen from the outside because we use our summer blinds. There is these silver buttons in this fabric. So you can snip it to this area, but we kind of put these loops that we are going to adjust the pokey things here. Do you know when people have these silk conversion vans and they have this sofa bed to make the bed and they make van tours, they always say it literally takes only two seconds to make and then it takes like 20 minutes when they put the sofa mode to bed. This is same kind of thing. I think it's fast, but in reality not. And this one is really nice because it's long all the way, so we don't get the cold draft to our feet there. Before we put here a thermal insulation block also, but they were kind of drag and pain in the ass, so we kind of just got rid of those. So we are only using this big one here and the big one in back of the van. And we will let other windows be open. It wasn't worth of the hassle to insulate everything. So now our dear home is totally insulated and we can enjoy hot beverages here or just chill in a cozy van and enjoy our gas heater as a truma blowing that warm air. And later on we are going to fire up this tiny little wood stove and it will be toasty inside here. Yeah, thousands and thousands of birds are actually gathering here on this lake. Oh, pretty awesome. They make hell of a lot of noise. Ah, let's close the door and put the wood heater on. We are using these small cocaine bags to light up the fire. Show us. <laughs> They are just fire starters. And this little tiny mini gun. Not clean window because ran out of wind chair. <laughs> 